Today I want to show you guys the final form, other than like where it's going to be sitting and mounted and everything, of my Steam Deck mobile setup. You, I also can use this with my Android phones because it is USB-C input capable. The display is the 4Help portable monitor. It's got USB-C power, USB-C input from the Steam Deck, and HDMI mini input from my desktop currently. The Steam Deck sitting right here. I will have to get a different hub so I can do you know, power delivery for charging the Steam Deck itself and having video output via USB-C on a hub of some sort. I think I'm going to go with the Anchor Hub and all that stuff is linked in my Amazon storefront in Steam Best Steam Deck Accessories. The Steam Deck itself, let's talk about it. It is the 64 gigabyte version, so it has the lower end screen, but I did put a JSOC screen protector on it. Oh, whoa, you can use this as a touchpad? Whoa, didn't know that. See, cool things are already happening. I upgraded the device with a one terabyte Sabrent rocket, which is way, way, way faster than the original SSD that came in it. And of course, the storage goes from 64 gigabytes to a terabyte. I do have this Steam Deck set up on a dual boot Windows 10 slash SteamOS. I do have to do it manually because every time I download something from GitHub to try to make the uh, Linux based system do something, stuff just goes haywire and then I have to reboot my whole system. But I just put a JSOX skin on it. Currently, we're using a JSOX hub. I don't have the Steam Deck plugged into the monitor all the time currently. But in my final setup, once I move, it's going to be, this thing's going to be on like some type of little small vase mount because it is vase mount capable, as you can see on the back. And it does have audio output. Has two little speakers on it. I think the Steam Deck ones might actually be a little bit better. And then we're running this little Amazon keyboard. It costs about $30, $40. It's Bluetooth and it's foldable. It also has three channels for Bluetooth connections. So you can switch between three devices just by hitting the function and Bluetooth 1, 2, 3. So it's also capable of connecting to my Z Fold 4 from Samsung. And I can plug in via USB-C to my phone as well, which turns my phone into a trackpad similar to this. And... Then I have a lap, basically a small laptop that I can use. The reason that I want to use this system this way is because it just makes sense for me. When I'm on the go, I can have a small laptop screen to play my games on at somebody's house. Or if I'm on the go and I don't want to pull out the big screen, then I can just use my phone or my Steam Deck as is. The only thing else I need to pair with this is probably get another one of these G305 Lightspeed mice so I can have it for the Steam Deck itself when I'm using Windows, but you can use Windows with the touchpad. The Windows partition we'll talk about in another video, and I've already kind of talked about that before. There's plenty of videos out there, even on some of my saved playlists that I think you guys have access to called Steam Deck on my YouTube channel. All this stuff, all the accessories that I recommend or have used or I'm currently using are all listed on my Amazon storefront. The link is in my bio or in the description, depending on where you're watching this video. And it has my storefront linked, and you can go check out the list that says Best Steam Deck Accessories. Overall, I think this is a, probably a, an 8 out of 10 right now. We're going to make it a 10 out of 10 with switching out the USB hub that I have currently to an Anchor USB-C input or slash output hub. But overall, I think this is going to be a game changer. This thing does come with a case, and it is only 1080p 60 hertz, But... The Steam Deck isn't even 1080p. It can output up to 4K at 60 hertz, I believe. But realistically, for a portable monitor, it looks pretty nice. We're about to boot up a game and kind of show you guys a little bit of gameplay and movement and stuff like that to see what it actually looks like. And yes, in about five days, I have 31 hours in Hogwarts Legacy. Don't judge me. Now, currently, I am using the Steam Deck as my controller, and I'm literally... Just holding it in my hands like this with no display out and the cord plugged in. And I can just use the actual Steam Deck as a controller. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see, we are running at 60 FPS. And we can actually change that. And so the audio quality on the monitor itself probably isn't going to be that great, but. <clears throat> But it's pretty good. Good enough. 
So we're using about 98% of the GPU currently, just on the load screen, 96% battery, CPU about 48%, and RAM 5.4 gigabytes. I usually just run this small overlay just so I can only see the FPS that I'm actually playing at. Now, what are the actual graphic settings? Mostly low. We are playing it medium currently. Now I have to say the sharpness needs to get turned up just a hair. And this menu is kind of a pain. And we are going to just go into my regular save that I already have. Show you guys a little bit of gameplay here. Now the load screens look fantastic on this monitor. I gotta say that. Now you can actually hook a USB or a Bluetooth controller to your actual Steam Deck. And be good to go. Let's just fly up here in the world a little bit. So we're getting about 43, 45, 49 FPS. But this is what the gameplay looks like on this actual monitor. So I paid a total of like probably 650 for a one terabyte Steam Deck with the upgrades I've done. But is that worth it? You buy the $400 Steam Deck then you get to upgrade it yourself, the satisfaction of actually taking it apart and and putting parts into it and just messing with it, I think it's worth it. So here we are just flying through some Hogwarts Legacy. I think, I mean 30 FPS to 60 FPS, somewhere around there. This is a very demanding game. All right, let's talk overall prices while we just fly around. The monitor cost me $96 after taxes and was on sale for $89. I think full price there, $120. The Steam Deck itself cost $415, $416 after taxes when I bought it. And the upgrades that I've done to it, the screen protector, the skin, and the SSD were probably close to $200 altogether. So what did I pay? $600 for the Steam Deck total and another, let's say, 100 for the monitor. So $700 for a mobile setup that you can use anywhere you go. Now, what else am I pairing with this as far as charging goes? I have a Ugreen Nexode 140-watt charger. I can power the monitor, the Steam Deck and charge my phone from this charger all at once and everything gets the right amount of power that it needs to run constantly. That sucker is going to cost you about 100 140 bucks. So now we're at where? About 800. You're going to tell me next. Why don't you just buy a $1000 laptop? Well, because a laptop, I can't sit in a doctor's office and play handheld like this. Without it being plugged into a monitor, I can play my Steam Deck just the way it is. The reason I have this set up the way it is, it, because when I go on vacation or if I go to if I'm at a hotel or something like that, I can plug my Steam Deck into a monitor or something like that and be able to play. Or if I'm at somebody's house and I don't have access to a huge TV or a gaming setup or a PC or anything, I can still use my Windows partition or my Steam Deck. Steam OS partition to game, do my work that I need to do because the screen on this thing, seven inches, Windows is hard to work on like this, okay? That's what I'm gonna tell you. It just is. But overall, I think it's very nice to have something like this. That way you can play it again. Handheld, or you can plug it in and use the Steam Deck itself as a controller. I do not think you can do dual monitor outputs on the Steam Deck. I haven't figured out how. I might do some research on that and show you guys a video about it. If I can find one or if you can even do it. But the Windows partition, I can actually have two screens. I can have dual screen outputs from the Steam Deck running Windows. So that is a huge plus. All you got to do, 
thousand dollars and or less you can have a mobile gaming setup that is on par with most laptops um and the games are pretty much optimized or you can mess around with the steam os graphics a little bit once you actually open the game i did on this it defaults to low but you can see even at 30 fps we can play this game perfectly fine and be able to do oh well clipped a little bit into the wall there even at 30 to 60 fps we can play this game perfectly fine no issue at all and this is probably the most demanding game i've ever played on here now on the windows side of the partition you're gonna have to play with the settings a lot steam os is going to automatically tune your game a little bit you can turn it up and down if you want to to try to you know get a little bit better quality out of it but overall i mean look at it i think we're doing all right on medium graphics here now my cloak's a little stiff but it's perfectly playable and i mean i'm pretty much playing it through the phone which actually makes it a little bit better quality well let me know what you guys think if you got this far in the video please like and subscribe to the channel it would help me out a lot and mean a lot to me because you know these are the kind of videos i want to be making about products and setups that it, most people can put together over time now again that's where you're gonna say well i'll just get a thousand dollar fifteen fifteen hundred dollar laptop why what if you don't have fifteen hundred dollars to just spend but you can buy a four hundred dollar steam deck like today and then in a month from now you can buy a hundred and fifty dollar ssd to put in it do some work yourself check it out you know take the thing apart look at it it's going to be a cool experience for you it's going to be awesome to you know tinker with a device that most people aren't going to be messing with then you buy a hundred dollar monitor the next month you know what i mean you can put this together over time and once you have the steam deck you can use it and play it anytime you want so most of us that are pc people are going to have a steam library that's pretty big anyways or at least you know be able to play free stuff or you know whatever you want to do i think overall this device is one of the best things to ever happen to gaming mind you you can use this monitor with your phone as well and have like a middle mini laptop you already have a a smartphone plug it in use samsung decks and it will and get a forty dollar bluetooth keyboard okay for forty dollar keyboard your cell phone and a hundred dollar monitor and you have a laptop that you can do most things on let me know if you guys enjoyed this video throw some comments down just tell me what you think if you want to know more about all these accessories that i use or have used for the steam deck itself please go check out the link in the description it's my link tree at my amazon storefront will be at the very top and you'll be able to look at the actual list of everything that i use for the steam deck mobile setup thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video